Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Skype in PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is cost of zero capacity. So before we start our, our video today, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. Uh, your support is very important to us. And what is the Edo capacity? Let's consider that I have a company and my full capacity is to produce 1,000 units per month. However, first month I produce 600, second month 700, third month 800, and then 500 again. And let's consider that our our fixed manufacturing overhead is fixed. So what is our problem? Our fixed cost per unit will change a lot, will vary a lot, but not because our cost is growing, only because we are producing more or less. And how can we decrease our cost? Producing more, more, and more. How, and then our fixed cost per unit will be lower. However, our inventory will be so high and inventory, the higher, uh, the worse or the lower, the better. So how do you, how do we fix this kind of paradox here? The more I produce, uh, the more my inventory goes because my fixed cost is fixed. We fix it using the, the cost of zero capacity. So let's go to our Excel file. It is easier. So this is a, a regular activity-based costing. So we have these uh, six costs here and the estimated amount here. Uh, Let's see our estimated amount. So let's consider it here. Oh, I have this. They are here. Okay, let's. Oh, come on. These are our actual use. So let's combine our actual use here. Job number one. And job number two. And let's consider here we have no over or under allocated cost. So this is our estimated amount. What do we do in activity based costing? And here we are going very fast. But if you have problems or questions about activity based costing, we have a video about it and it is in our video description as well as this Excel file. Our Excel files, they are all free and the link to download it is in our video description as well. So here we have costs, total cost for this activity machine setup, allocation base for machine setup. So we have the cost per allocation base. And job number one, we produce 2000 units and this is our actual use. So our cost per allocation base, the first one, 11. And let's go and paste here. We have our costs here. So 655. Job number two. Again, the same cost per allocation base. And we have our costs here. And if we go here, job number one, our unit cost is 327, cost job number two, 511. So five, job number two more expensive than job number one. And the total, the same 2.7. We have no idea here if this cost is over or understated uh, related to the capacity. If our capacity is these numbers here, 
we are not able to reduce this cost anymore. So it doesn't matter and we cannot sell it more to reduce it. However, if our, our capacity is much higher than these numbers here, then we have some space to manage our costs. But we don't know that in the traditional activity-based costing. So what do we do? Let's go to our capacity. So these are our estimated amount, and this is our full capacity. And we find out the ETO capacity. That is capacity less estimated amount. Oh, we have capacity here, especially for packaging. We have a lot of capacity, but on the other, we also have ETO capacity. So how much money we are losing because of this ETO capacity? Maybe it is not production fault because, as I told you, if we produce more, our inventory will go up. However, we could sell more. And if we sell more, our cost could be reduced. However, reduce it to how much? How much would be our minimum cost? How do we do? We do the same. However, our cost per allocation base, if we go to traditional ABC, our cost per allocation base is cost divided by the estimated amount, our allocation base. Now, our allocation base, instead of working with estimated amount, we work with capacity. So our full capacity will be our allocation base. So our allocation base will be the full capacity. And if we compare to ABC, all our costs go, go down. Instead of 1167, we have 933. Instead of 486, we have the 461. So let's com compare here. Cost per cost considering the ABC or the traditional ABC. Let's have our eleven. Here we are, and then the difference. Let's see. So we are decreasing in materials handling. We don't have a lot of you know, capacity here, but see fabricating parts. That is our greatest one here. So we need to fix this one. So we are able to fabricate more parts and so on. So here we can manage our production. And we go the same, cost per allocation base here, actual use, overhead cost, and so on. And if we go here, you, doing the same math as our ABC, our cost reduction for job number one is 20%, job number two, 21%. And usually these numbers, they are quite similar, but they rarely they will be the same, okay? But it's common, they, they are quite similar here. But we have a problem now. Our numbers are not matching anymore. 2.7 is our total. 2.1 is our total now. So 2.7 is the actual cost. 2.1 is the allocated cost. And I am sure your professor or your colleague always tell you, uh, cost system, we don't add cost or reduce cost. We only allocate costs. However, here we are reducing. How do we fix it? We create a fake job here or fake product called hero capacity. And we do the same cost per allocation base. Here, we are good. However, the ETO capacity here, what do we do? Number of 
allocation base here or our actual use for Edo capacity. So we consider these numbers here for Edo capacity. And we are losing $567,000 because of our Edo capacity. So our Edo capacity loss is this $567,000. And now our numbers are matching. Okay, so how do we match our numbers? Creating a fake product or fake job, call it Edo capacity. And we can see here where we are losing more money. We are losing more money on fabricating parts, then supervising, then inspecting, then packaging, uh, then machine setup, and finally materials handling. Okay, guys, so it's very nice tool for production planning and so on, for PCP and production planning and and control and so on. So we have here uh, a lot of very useful tools for us to work with, okay? And this is our optimal number or our lowest cost possible or kind of lowest cost possible. But it it, it is our optimizing cost. So guys, thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.